Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 First Drive Space Time. The new ruler of vets infringes upon every one of the laws of material science. In a briefer history of time, the late Stephen Hawking's layman's variant of his smash hit book, The Astrophysicist rapidly smothers the thought of total space and supreme time. It peruses like hypothesis, however in the wake of driving the 755 horsepower 2019 Chevy Corvette ZR1, I currently realize that time travel is conceivable. The freshest bet doesn't just get you around the course, it transports you starting with one corner then onto the next. Once there. You can convey so much speed you're in a rocket slingshotting around the moon to get to Mars. What's more, as somebody who, up to this point, just at any point ended up queasy in the traveler situate while on a circuit, I can state that time travel pummels the inside organs. The main reprieve is on long straights, as at Road Atlanta, where other than effectively peaking 150 miles per hour, a driver can unwind, recover his or her heading and get ready for the following 40 mile per hour left right combo. For those not well known, the new ZR1 is the speediest, snappiest and most effective creation Corvette Chevrolet has ever manufactured. Alongside those 755 horses, purchasers get 715 pounds to foot of toborg from the new LT5, a hand-fabricated 6.2-liter V8 with a 2.65-liter Eaton supercharger attached best. That supercharger is almost a liter greater and just shy of 3 inches taller than the Z06's, which requires a radiance hood. Before you ask, it's unmistakable from the driver's seat yet not nosy. The 2019 ZR1 follows in a long queue of world blenders, which started in 1970. That year the ZR1 was an in-your-face track bundle with substantial obligation brakes one-of-a-kind suspension, a redesigned transmission and an additional extensive aluminum radiator. It had no power directing, radio or aerating and cooling. The following ZR1 came amid the fourth era, or C4, Corvette in 1990. It housed a 32-valve V8 worked by Mercury Marine and made 375 horsepower. Afterward, the yield was knocked to 405, not a modest number in 1993. In 2009, we got the codename Blue Devil ZR1 making 638 horsepower with the LS9 little piece. In 1990, the ZR1 cost about $60,000. The 2009 ZR1 cost $100,000, and we remain here today with the ZR1 that begins at $121,000, including Goal. A completely optioned convertible methodology is $145,000. That is enormous cash for a Corvette, yet this auto is about type popping figures. It quickens to 187 miles per hour from halt in one mile and will in the long run achieve 212 miles per hour with the less forceful wing. From that fast speed, it decelerates back to zero of every gut punching 8.7 seconds. That is time travel. Have a traveler endeavor to hold the clock when you do that. It has more stick than Gorilla Glue thanks to some extent to close race smooth Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Those accompany the $2,995 ZTK bundle, which additionally includes a more forceful back wing, firmer springs and stuns, and removable carbon fiber and tops for the front splitter. It's the main accessible alternative bundle. To get the greater part of the extravagance accessories Corvette purchasers appreciate, similar to a calfskin inside, warmed, vented seats, premium sound, satellite radio and a microfiber wrapped main event, they'll need to arrange the 3ZR trim for $10,000. It additionally accompanies route and a performance data recorder, a front mounted camera that records your laps with information, both of which are discretionary on the base 1ZR trim. Keyless section, a shading head up show, rear view camera, xenon headlights, control seats and two 8 inch shading shows are standard in all cases. The ZR1 was produced on a moving street twin burrow that can put the car in both straight line and calculated, yaw, conditions that it may experience on a course. That huge back wing assumes a major part in making 60% more downforce than the Z06 Stage 3 bundle, 950 pounds at top speed, taking all things together. Other contributing parts incorporate the front splitter and underbody gut dish. Alongside the breeze burrow, computational liquid flow reenactments advised specialists where to put each one of those winglets, air catchers and side vents. Warmth was clearly a worry with an engine this enormous, 
henceforth the mammoth admissions in front that permit 41% more wind current than the Z06. The ZR1 has 13 warm exchangers, counting radiators, trans, oil and diff coolers, contrasted with the Z06's 9. To demonstrate they all work, Chevy Torman tried to auto on track at temperatures up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It was gentle at Road Atlanta, the ideal place to test this auto, however temps on the standard 15.5 inch carbon clay rotors housed in front check in close to 800 degrees. The back circles measure a liberal 15.3 inches, and the Brembo calipers are 6 cylinder front and 4 cylinder in the back. They're not all a similar size cylinders either, that would be too simple. The main cylinders are littler, and the bigger ones are in the back. That equivalents out the weight when the brakes lock in. The mammoth brake cushions are half breeds, utilizing both trace and street erosion material. Also, as per Brembo, they're great up to 1400 degrees, influencing my 800 degree readout to appear to be relatively walker.